Hey guys, Chris at Rockford Ordnance. Been waiting to bring you a video on some final upgrades on our Scorpion, and we've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. We had ordered some more parts from HB Industries. These guys have turned out to be just one of our favorite go-to guys for parts for our Scorpions. And the parts are normally here in a couple days, like nothing. They've gone out of their way, free shipping, all kinds of stuff for me. And I was about to call because it's been like 10, 11 days now, something like that. And I get a notice that, hey, the thing's in my mailbox. Well, look what I got. Here it is, yeah, uh, post office. We care, we care about you. We care about your package. Yeah, nice and ripped up. I'm gonna pull in here and see if everything I ordered is still in this package. This was a box, guys. This was a box. What, did it fall under a wheel? Oh, please be there, I've been waiting so long. Oh, I think we may have got lucky. Probably because HBI wrapped their stuff so good. Uh, what do we got? Well, there we go. We've got our, this is our faux suppressor tightening tool. So it goes in the end of that faux suppressor and allows you to tighten it. If any of you guys have had yours come loose, I have. Uh, it's hard to tighten without this. You can do it with some makeshift tools and whatnot, but this is gonna allow us to really get a good purchase on there uh, and not screw it up. So they're cheap, I don't know, 10 bucks maybe, I don't know, 14 bucks, whatever. We got one of those and here it is. Our, this is our Pro, what do they call it? The CZ Scorpion Pro Stock Charging Handle. Because uh, we have left our uh, handguard alone, we wanted to go to this. I'll explain here as we get into the video. They send you a nice little sticker and we're good to go. So, I uh, just wanted to show you yeah, what our post office did. I knew something had to happen. This thing looks like it's been run. Look at this. Look at that. How does that happen? My God, that was a box. Anyhow, <laughs> so here we go, guys. Come on along. We're going to finish up this Scorpion. You're going to love it. So guys, uh, the parts made it through our uh, U.S. Postal Service uh, mail system all in one piece, thank God. And I uh, just wanted to show you what we got here. So. The first thing we received from HB Industries was this tool. And it's a little, uh, looks like a bolt almost, but what it's going to do is, on our K package, you've got this faux silencer. Some of you have reported that it's extremely hard to get it off and uh, you've been struggling with it. Well, this will help you remove it. But mine has worked loose on its own several times. And you try to tighten it. If you see the end here, there's these notches all the way around. Almost looks like something how you tighten a uh, choke on a shotgun. Anyhow, um, you can adapt a few things to it and get it tight. But for the couple bucks this costs, it makes it real easy. It's got these teeth, the pattern, that match the inside of this. It's kind of like one of those wheel lock uh, tools or keys. So you drop it in the barrel, it locks in, and then you can use your wrench or a socket to tighten it, essentially. So that's going to be really handy for uh, tightening it as well as putting it, uh, taking it off. And uh, since we had an order coming anyways, we threw it in there. So that's going to be awesome. The second thing we got was this Pro Stock charging handle. If you remember, we replaced the charging handle on this one with what they call their Theta. Okay, now that matches the trigger shoe we put on both of these. We're trying to keep these guns almost exactly alike other than the barrel length and the brace being a little different. Uh, so I would have just put one of these Thetas on, but the problem with that is they both have steel charging rods, but the handles are different. The Theta is aluminum. This is polymer like the stock one. So when we were putting a charging handle on the pistol here that has a polymer 
hand guard, no problem. That aluminum will ride against the uh, polymer really nice and smooth. However, if I put this aluminum one in this pistol with the aluminum hand guard, the aluminum on aluminum would rub and eventually wear through the finish and then start binding. The alum aluminum binds on aluminum. So the solution to that is the charging handle, the ProStock charging handle, which has the polymer handle on it. Still has a steel rod, but the polymer handle. And when the polymer wears on the aluminum, it's not gonna bind. So that is the solution to that. You can see how short, <laughs> that's all that sticks out past the handguard here. And our new solution, you can see, will stick out quite a bit more. So this is gonna be great. It'll update this pistol to have everything the other one has. The only difference being the difference in braces. And we have a uh, Yeti grip on that, mag pull on this. I'm gonna be bringing you a video on the, on the uh, hand grips and tell you which one our favorite is. Um, yeah, that's about it. I guess uh, I like them all. There's a couple hand guards I like, just one a little better than the other. So I'm going to put this charging handle in. We'll bring it to you and show it in just a second. Hang on. And there we go, guys. Through the magic of video, we have put this on. Now, it is not as long as the Theta, but it is plenty long. Great grip on there and replace. Simple as driving the pin out, then using that same uh, punch to push in through this side to push in the little wire retainer. Let's see if I can show you. There's a little wire retainer just under my thumb here uh, that you have to push in to get it out. So drive the pin out, you don't even have to, well, I drove it all the way out so I could then use the punch through this side to push that little retainer in and it slides right out. Put the new one in, push that retainer in a little, drops in, push the pin back in, all set to go. So we are ready on both our pretty much identical scorpions. Everything is set. Uh, the only thing we haven't done to these is change the mag release. I like these. I'm able to get to them with my index fingers just fine, and that's how I like to do them. Uh, so yeah, I think we are done. These things are great. I If Magpul, well, I like this Yeti grip a lot, but I like the Magpul too. Yeti gives you a little more ability to lift the gun. Uh, this one is not as heavy, so I really don't need it. So yeah, I think we are good to go. May, uh, may mess around with some binaries or may change out to a completely different trigger pack, but these light uh, springs seem to be working well. I'm happy with them. And uh, yeah, that's where we are at. Uh, one thing I may not have mentioned is we changed out this flash suppressor. It is no longer the stock one where that thread protector, there's a risk of it coming off. The other one, the stock one uh, works with this little indent piece here to hold it on. This works with a O-ring, keeps it from loosening and uh, really haven't had any problems with it. It's a little shorter, kind of like it. So we're testing that. We'll let you know how that works out. Guys, we have thousands and thousands of rounds through these things, brass, steel, everything. And everything is working phenomenal. Gonna get a black drum for the black one. And we are all set. We got mags galore. And uh, everything set on these to have tons of fun, protect our homes, uh, just, great little pistols. I can't say enough about them. Anyhow, thought we'd bring you those things from HB Industries. They really have some great stuff uh, and have been great to work with. So if you need anything, check them out. Uh, other than that, please like, please subscribe if you 
hit uh, at the end here, you're going to see Rockford Ordinance. Just hover over it. You'll be able to click and subscribe. Like our video. Helps us a ton, guys. Like our videos. I hope you like them. Anyhow, check out our Facebook. Check out our Instagram. And as always, Rockford Ordinance out.